Hi, Teacher Rihanna here, and I just wanted to do a video to kind of take you into my classroom. First off, you don't need a lot of space, just find a corner. I found this little corner. <laughs> um, this was already here, it had other stuff on it, I took it off and redecorated it. The whale and the border I got from the dollar store. They have some really cute things there that you wouldn't think of, so go check it out. I also got this at a teacher supply store, and I have to say that this is probably the most expensive thing in my whole entire classroom, so you don't have to go out and spend a lot of money. You can be resourceful, just kind of use what you have if you can. So some other things are this is my little teacher plaque and I just made it. I got the stickers from the dollar store, I got this from the dollar store, all of this was from the dollar store and I just made my own. So I just put it right up here. This greenery I already had, this I already had. Um, These I got just, I found them as I was looking and they're from actually from a secondhand store. So super cheap there. I just thought that they were cute and they just kind of, just kind of all came together. Um, this right here is something that I made. I got the stickers from the dollar store. I already had this fabric, this gray fabric and I just wrapped it around a piece of cardboard and yeah, there it is. These are my markers. Um, I just have different markers that I use throughout the classroom and this is just a marker holder that I got, which brings me to my boards. So I have this board that I use a lot just for writing, things like that. And I also use this board. Um, this board is just a dry erase board, but it's also um, magnetic, so I can stick magnets on here, just different things like that. Speaking of magnets, I also have my rewards, which are right here. And I already had this box, I just reused it. So um, I don't use these a lot, anymore. I do use them sometimes, but not a lot. So next, we have some of my props that I use. So I, oh, again, I already had these. <laughs> I had a lot of stuff. Um, so I had this little, um, this little caddy, and it works really well. So I'll kind of show you what I have in here. So I have a I have a lamb or a sheep, whichever. <laughs> um, I have a horse. I have a hippo. I have a giraffe. I have a tiger. I have a crocodile or alligator. You choose. <laughs> it can be used for either one. Um, and then I have a lion. Some other things that I have are flashcards, just different ones. Um, and I have all kinds of flashcards. I have my sets that I just kind of use regularly all the time, out and ready. And then I just have my backup ones just in case I might need them. And then I have, um, oh, I use this actually a lot. This little smiley face, I use it a lot. Um, I have other emojis in here, but um, I don't use them as much. I use the smiley face probably the most. And then I just have some different pencils, marker, pen, so I also have these little papers that I made. This is a great idea 
it's not my original idea, but it was a great idea that I heard about and um, I actually use these a lot. So yeah. All right, so that's my caddy. Then, then I have this little box. Um, again, it's just something that I had from before. I think I got this at the dollar section of Target. And I think I just got this, honestly, at my local um, grocery store. <laughs> I just saw it one day and I was like, oh, I could maybe use that for something. Random stuff. So, on this box, I have this cat. I have a monkey. I have a rabbit. And I have a dog. And I also have this little um, money kit. And yeah, it also, it just has like paper money in there, like that. And then it actually also has some of these little cards in the back. Right here, these like little flash cards that come in really handy. So yeah, that's what I have in there. Let's see, what else? the most important things, I have these. These are what I use for talking and listening to my students. Um, before, I had just like the, you know, the earphone set, and it was okay, but the cord kept getting in the way. It just wasn't working out, so I invested in a pair of these, and they're great. I love them. We've been cleaning out a lot, and as we've been cleaning out, I've kind of been grabbing a couple things, and they've just been working out. Um, also, one thing that I have is a good light source. So that is something that's really important. Get a good light source in your area. You don't want it to be too dim because then it will be low quality. Get some sort of setup. It doesn't have to be anything expensive, but just something to where the student can see you clearly. So um, yeah, other than that, that's it. This is my classroom. I hope you enjoyed this video and it helped you to maybe get some ideas for your classroom. Um, if there's anything that you want to see from me, leave a comment down below. I really am trying to make weekly videos. It is my goal. So if you can think of anything that you want to see or that you would enjoy seeing, let me know and I'll see what I can do. Also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're watching this video for the first time and you're wondering what is this, I kind of maybe want to do this. Um, I'll link some of my other videos either down below or up here or somewhere um, so that you can see what this is all about and as always I'll put my code and my link down below so until next time